Hello everybody, so welcome back to another Bakugan unboxing video. Today I'll be unboxing the Bakugan Deluxe training set. This is the Walmart exclusive, you can see here, only at Walmart. From the design of the training set, it looks like an aquatic version. It, it looks exactly the same as the aquatic training set. Okay, anyway, uh, have a look at the front, have a look at the back, okay, have a look at the barcode in case you're interested. The date is the same date as the previous, previous ones, 28 October 2012. So in this pack, there are three Bakugan, you can see here. Uh, first, we have the Special Attack Mantid. We have an orange top and a bluish color bottom. 500, 300, 100, 200, 400, and 100. Special Attack Mantid. Titanium Dragonoid, 500, 400, and 100. It's a translucent purplish color. And the last one, we have another, <laughs> another blue translucent octagon. Stats are 200, 500, and 400. So included would be one training set, one SA special attack top, one special attack bottom, one power ring, two Bakugan tops, two Bakugan bottoms, one special attack Bakugan card, one Bakugan rip cord, or one Bakugan token, three clan flags, three totem. So this is something new, totems, three brawler cards. Or oh, brawler cards are something new as well. I think it's the one with the with the people inside. That's my first set of brawler cards. Three character cards and two gate cards. A lot of stuff in here. So for documentation purpose, this is the top, this is the side, this is the other side, the bottom. And you can see all the symbols here. I already stated what was included. If you compare it with the the normal training sets, it's uh it's much bigger. One size is bigger. Height wise is the same, but uh, length wise is uh, a little bit bigger. Okay, so let's open it up and have a look. I like this packaging, it's very easy to open. Ooh. Oh, very nice blue color. It's uh, different from the, the previous training set. The size is the same. Ooh, Bakugan. A very nice color, color yellowish, bluish, a stack of cards. And the other two Bakugan. Anything else? Nope. The previous training sets only had one Bakugan. This one had the special attack as well. Yellow color. Very nice looking. Okay, let's start with the cards. First time we'll be seeing our brawler cards. Yeah, a lot of stuff in here. So we have the three brawler cards. Yeah, they have a black backing. Looks looks pretty nice. We have the SA bottom, the special attack card, three Bakugan character cards, and the two gate cards. Yeah, let's take a look at the token first. Yeah, so we have our Roblox code as usual. Our customer care card. I hope I hope you call them if you have problems. Okay, let's start with the gate cards as usual. Let's see which one we got. M O zero one A Q U C. Oh, it's the first time I got a C, I think. And who is this? INS, INS A. M01 INS A is the insect. Well, I think it's two new cards, I don't have these. Next, let's look at the Bakugan character cards. Octagon! Oh, is this a different card? Looks like a different card. Uh, it's the same card as the Brawl Bros pack. See? M0185 CC. Next, oh, this, this looks nice. But why is it SA? Yeah, it's supposed to be T, right? It's supposed to be Titanium Dragonoid, not, not SA Dragonoid. So I think this is a misprint. It should be a titanium dragonoid, not an SA dragonoid. M0 A C C 500, 400, and 100. And we have SA Mantid, yellow and blue. So you can see from the cards what color is the Bakugan. Yellow and blue. This is a uh, purple and blue. Stats 500, 100, and 400. Oh, if you have two insects, you plus 200. To what? I don't know. Uh, as I mentioned in my other video, there's a bluish uh, color in the circle, which indicates the Walmart affiliation. I like the yellow color scheme actually. The yellow color scheme looks nice. Next we have our SA card, special attack card. Flare Axe and Smash Hammer again. Yeah, my previous card was this Flare Axe and Smash Hammer. It uh, also came with Mantid, but that was the red version. So this was uh, MJ193 SA. This is MJ115 SA. But the cards, the backing I think are different. Yeah, this is gold. This is, um, I don't know what, what kind of color this is. A mix between gold and silver. Too many variations without any names. Okay, so this flare axe and smash hammer. And yes, the first time I'm getting these the brawler cards. I think this come with the special attack one. Let's see who we have. Underscore. Underscore. <laughs> that's just a that's such a corny name. I'm so sorry, but underscore is such a corny name. Anyway, it looks like a it looks like an insect kind of brawler. Yes, this tool looks like a feeders or something. And it's M0143BC. Green plus 300. To this stat. The material of the card is a bit different. You can see the glossiness is also different. Okay, next. Dan! I'm assuming it's again Dan Kuzo or whatever his surname is. Yeah, it looks looks 
looks nice. So if it's a uh, purple, plus 300, M0159BC. Juno, bruiser is at the back. 100-100-0. If it's a mammal, plus 400. Okay, so our first set of brawler cards. Okay, let's start with our buckle gun. There's so many variety of cards now, and they're all different shape. Okay, let's take a look at the special attack mantid. Yes, so this comes together with the flare axe and smash hammer. Already installed, the power ring is installed. See the same blue metallic paint as was in the Brawl Balls pack. Oh, the record is inside. Oh, it's a small, small version. The only one that came with the Deluxe was the Buckle Team so far. So this is a, a very small version of the rip card. Rip card. See the buckle gun. Not to be confused with Bay Beyblade. So this doesn't have the one, two, three. This was the one that came with the Bakutin Mantid. It's a very very big. The ring is bigger for bigger fingers. Oh, it's really very long. So the starting point is uh here. So it's about three, three to four times longer. Okay. So let's see how it opens. Cover. Since I have the cuts, they gave us two cuts. Pretty difficult to open if this thing is blocking. The other the other record was better. See the power rings are blocking it. Remember not to touch this because it will spin. That was anticlimactic. <laughs> anyway, this uh this is how it looks like. And yeah, the magnet is at the back. I like the color scheme actually. It's a very nice color scheme. Uh hands are manual. Yes. Pull them out like that. And there's also another manual part. Uh, I saw it later. It's here at the front. Pretty difficult to see. Yeah, so I'm not sure you can see that. There's two small little manual parts here. So it'll look like this. Let's, let's try that. So of course you can open it up and take out the ring if you want to. Let's try again with the uh, normal rip card. It landed on the other side. <laughs> okay, let's try the large deluxe version. So, one, two, three. Definitely spins longer. Uh, I mean, the spinning is definitely much faster. Yeah, I prefer the long long version. Of course, if there's a motorized version, that will be even better. Yeah, so, this is special attack mantid, the yellow and blue version. Yeah, this Bakutin is, uh, cover is quite useful for this uh, demonstration. Okay, next, let's take a look at all these. So, we have these weird things. These are called the totems. According to the picture, it looks like some kind of obstacle that you place in the ring. So, place these in the rings to block, block your opponent. I'm assuming you, you place them wherever you want on the field and it will block the direction of the Bakugan for whatever the aim is. We still don't know the rules. So, but I assume it's to block. Okay, we have this clan flags, three of them. They have the same design as the aquatic uh, clan flags previously. Looks like it. So it's, it's supposed to be the same. See, the design is the same, whirlpool design. Just different color. So let's put these on, these totems, which I have no idea what they are used for. So this is a different color from the previous uh, version. It's a dark blue with a light blue for this, this portion. Previously was a uh, sort of a reverse kind, a translucent color. It's a more dark. Yeah, it's like a reverse color scheme. And the last two, let's take a look at the Bakuga. Yeah, let's let's take a look at Octagon first. Yeah, it looks the same. Okay, let's see how it opens. One, two, three, four. Bro. 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 Really difficult to. Okay, anyway. Yeah, it looks the same. This was the, the one from the Brawl Balls pack. Yeah, this it is the same. I think it's the same. Design-wise, everything is the same. Color-wise, it's the same. I thought they would actually give us something different. One more exclusive uh, Octagon. The only other one we got purple and blue was the Walmart Nilius. The Brawl Bros Nilius, which was this. Same, same color scheme, but this is um, Dragonite. Dragonite, Titanium Dragonite. The card is wrong, I think. Card. Can't say this is special attacks, but special attacks are the ones with the spinning portions. One, two, three, brown. Yeah, this looks very nice. I like the purple and blue color scheme. Yeah, so the legs push forward like this. The old man stunts. 
to say. But the color is nice. I like the translucent purplish color. You put it together with Nilius. The two eternal rivals. Okay, so these two are the the normal Bakugan. It's all very nice colors, to be very honest. I like the color scheme. So this was uh, a lot of stuff in this Dulux training set. Yeah. So we still do not have any rules. Not sure how to play this. Okay, so uh, yeah, one last thing. Let me just join them up together and see how big it is. So I finally have three sets now. Yeah, so this is how it looks like. This is how big it is. The size of it is uh, approximately like this. See, it's not very big in terms of the arena size. It's actually pretty small. I assume this is for dropping. Let's drop it here. It's blocking. I'm not sure where these totems are. What are for? I'm just putting them in the center. So I just drop it that. Wow. <laughs> it went up to there. I really have no idea what is this for. What is it supposed to do? We need rules. Seriously need rules for this. Because I have no idea how to play this. This by itself doesn't really make sense. I think it will make sense once I have the rules. You can actually join them together without these sticks. Okay, so let's just remove this. So you can actually have uh, six of them together in one, one circle. Which would be actually quite cool. So let's just say I, I want to keep it like that. Yeah, I can actually do this. Which which actually increases the flexibility, I guess. You can, you can do it like that if you if you really want, but I don't know why you want to do that. You can actually just get six of these and join up into one circle. Yeah, so this is the the flexibility you get with this training set. So this has been my unboxing video for today. Thanks for watching. If you enjoy this content, please click the like button and subscribe. See you next video. Thanks. Bye.